So uh, here's my uh, bear-proof garbage can. I had to go uh, cement block. And I went uh, quarter-inch bleed, which made it really heavy. So I had to actually uh, give it a cantilever to, to hold the lid up. So the garbage man would have needed two hands to lift this thing. And uh, I gave it a little drain so I can hose it out and drain it and if I ever had to clean it or wash it. But uh, that's what I had to do to uh, take care of my bear problem. Where I live, they're here every day. It's just that uh, whether you're awake to see it or not, they're here. And uh, over here, if you can check out my barbecue, it's buried, but even my barbecue is um, cable tied to railway ties so that the bear doesn't take off with that. Mr. Cameraman. Here, uh, I've got, uh, I ran all my generators in here, and uh, this one here I'm very happy with. It's a Champion, uh, 3,000 watt, peak 4,000. Very, very happy with it. It's just a 120 volt generator, but beautiful. Like, what a 120 volts. Very, very powerful. And I'm basically running a 120 volt house, so, you know, I have another one. It's a 4,000 watt, but it's two leg. So that means one leg is 2,000 watts, the other leg is 2,000 watts. There's your 4,000 watts. So I could only realize 2,000, I think peak was 2,500 per leg. So actually, this is only a 3,000 watt, and it's much stronger on the one leg because it's a one leg generator. It doesn't have the 220 uh, capability, 240 volt capability, so it's much stronger. And I would recommend for those that are doing that, going to run a 120 house, when you buy your generator, get it so that it's one leg. Um, so you can see how the original shed begun. It started. And then I got thinking, you know what, I'm going to just make the roof flat. One, it was time to do the roof, it was starting to sag. My brother uh, had all kinds of engine parts in here and I needed the floor space, so I put them on shelves and I ended up pulling the roof down. So when I gave it its new roof, it was just metal and flat like that. And I went that corrugated to let the light in. And then I decided that, gee, you know what, it's almost perfect, that shed, for my easterly shot. So I actually just kicked the wall out just a little bit more to, you can see that this is just a pony wall and it's, you know, touching the shed everywhere it goes. And I just kicked the, kicked that side out a little bit to do a little better on my easterly shot. I'm glad I did it. And um, now my solar system is very, very powerful. It's very powerful. This is, I call it my shed panels because my original panels are up there. 